Hey everybody, how's it going tonight? You got Toy Guy here. Just want to do a quick review. I got this, as I did an unboxing video of this a little bit earlier today. Um, got just a couple minutes here that I can do a do a uh, rather quick walkthrough, basically, of the War for Cybertron trilogy, uh, Generation Selects Megatron Voyager class, and so far, I haven't done anything other than just open it because uh, it came in the mail from Amazon uh, today, actually. And on the inside of the box here, I'm going to have to back up the camera a little. Whoops. Yeah, let's back up the camera and move that out of the way and put him, because he's a big figure. Big packaging here. And uh, we're going get, to get into this here. I'm going to go ahead and take him out of the box because the lighting's kind of kind of bad and I do apologize for that I haven't done anything more than open the box yeah shame on me I know so all right we'll put the box well that's just gonna put the box over here out of the way and uh, it does come with the typical Hasbro stuff here there's the copyright in 27 different languages and licensing and, uh, and it looks like a, the choking hazard in small parts and another 27 plus 8 languages there. Um, instructions. Got an instruction booklet. Which, believe me, I'll have to read that and study it like the Bible in order to get this thing to transform for me later. Um, let's go ahead and take out his accessories here. This reminds me of the Generation 2 Megatron. And I said that earlier in my unboxing. I said that this was without a doubt. And it's I think it's supposed to be. Uh, but this, whoops. This is a modernization of the modern, modernized whatever. Jesus, Lord. They really don't they really don't want him to come out. All right, that thing can go away. All right, so uh, right here, that's G2 Megatron to me. His cannon, that's G1, but really, you know, they, they, <laughs> they can say whatever they want to, but they quit. Uh, G1 is Megatron with a gun, G, or as a gun. This stuff here is not... When they came out with this back in the day... I balked at buying it when I was a kid. I had the opportunity uh, to get. Uh, it was actually it was for my birthday of ninety what three, I think, right around in there. Whenever they came out with these, and my choices were uh, at that time, I went to the local Kmart, which I think there's only like what ten Kmart's left in the world or something, but. Went to the local Kmart with my grandparents, <clears throat> and uh, they gave me the opportunity of getting this guy or Optimus Prime. Well, hands down, I I grabbed the, uh, after I, I picked him up in the box, and I was kind of like, wow, they really messed him up. You know, they really, they really messed Megatron up. That's a terrible uh, Megatron. And on the, I remember the pegs were full of other, uh, oh, hell, did I break his arm off? Okay, well the arm the arm came off. Um, well, stand up, dude. What is the deal here? Well, I guess that good for you. You fold under. Okay, so I don't think he's supposed to do that. I don't. I don't think so. And he's gonna fall over again. Um. All right, whatever. So anyway. Back then, the, the pegs were full of other Generation 2. Uh, they were basically, a lot of them were Generation 1 repaints. I remember there was Beachcomber and, um, oh boy, the, the little sea spray boat guy. Um, and there were uh, several Decepticon jets. And um, then there was Optimus Prime with the black trailer, and that's what I opted for. I got him, I got a couple of the Constructicons, and... Uh, like three or four of the jets, uh, like Starscream and Thundercracker maybe, or whatever, the three jets, I think, is what I also got. 
And uh, I stayed far, far away from this guy. I just hated it then. And I'm not thrilled with it now. You can probably tell. I'm not hyping it up at all. It is what it is. I mean, for kids that were... And they call it Generation 2 for good reason. Because um, about that time, I was becoming an early teenager. And uh, my interest in Transformers over the years kind of came and went, came and went. Kind of like with Nintendo. You know, and, and Super NES. And you had Sega and... All of those other things. You know, your interest kind of... What the hell? I just keep keep making this thing fall apart. Your interest kind of comes and goes with all of that stuff, you know? And, I mean, I was no different. Uh, I don't even know how the hell that went on there. You know, we're not even going to worry about that. But we are going to just go ahead and stand him back up as he was. Or as he is. But anyway, you know, your interest kind of come and go, come and go. And I got this guy uh, for review purposes. And, you know... If you like Generation 2, then that's great. This is your Megatron. Yeah, this, this if Generation 2, this is your Megatron. Um, and I guess Generation 2 forward, because Megatron has always been a tank since he's not been a gun. And, um, you know, that's, again, I said before, you know, that that's uh, probably some form of... Uh, advocate got involved in like you can't make megatron a gun that's that's not good that's bad i don't think maybe that wasn't supposed to go in there oh well, i mean it 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 does right and then this here goes how the hell did i have that or there okay i think that there we go all right so anyway uh you know it is what it is you you like generation 2 megatron this is your Megatron. Um, I guess he's okay uh, for what he is. Sure. Uh, compared to, and I don't have one here, but compared to Optimus Prime, he would have been probably a lot just overall bigger and bulkier um, back in the day uh, versus the you know Optimus Prime that they put out and they released. Megatron would have been a lot bulkier. Well, that's one of the things that they are correcting now with like the masterpieces and the other lines is that they make them all pretty well size comparable to what they should be. Uh, as they were back in the day, you know, for example, Shockwave, he like stood like, well, like, you know, he, he was like, you know, uh, 15 inches tall when he was transformed and Megatron was always about, about this size. Um, I didn't ever have, uh, I never had Megatron Generation 1. But a friend of mine did, and he, him, and him and Prime were pretty well, pretty comparable in height, the best I can remember. But probably the one that was the most, um, other than Shockwave, that sticks out in my mind, that was the most bulky and big, and just didn't really go with the rest of the group. And that was a blaster. Yeah, he was huge. Um, but anyway, Megatron from Generation Select. I think uh, I think he's cool. I'm glad to actually have you know. A, I, I would call it a deluxe. This is a Voyager size. Uh, I'm glad to have one. I mean, is it my favorite? No, not at all. Uh, I think that probably, and I haven't gotten it yet. But from what I've seen in pictures and reviews, uh, my favorite would have to be right now would be the uh, the, the the this War for Cybertron trilogy um, Netflix Megatron. To be fair and honest. So anyway. Uh, I hope you're all doing well. Have a good night. Stay safe and healthy. God bless. Please do like and subscribe. Uh, it costs you absolutely nothing to, sub uh, to subscribe to my channel. Uh, I would appreciate it. I, I appreciate so much every subscriber that I have. Uh, it, it costs you nothing, but it means the world to me. And uh, again, God bless everyone. Take care, and we'll see you again soon. Good night.